Buongiorno, studenti, my dietary baking students. Today we're going to be doing our last gluten-free product, and it is going to be a gluten-free spritz cookie. So our Italian for the day is biscotti senza glutine. Biscotti senza glutine. Gluten-free spritz cookie. So if you've been in my other class, uh, the advanced baking class, or when you were in the intro to baking class, you know the recipe, the method is a cream method. This is very simple. We're gonna have our, our, uh, our paddle here with our bowl, snap our bowl. And so we have our room temperature butter. I'm gonna make sure we have, get all that little butter in there, okay. Um, we also have our sugar. So this is a creaming method. And it's very simple. All we're going to do is cream the butter and the, the sugar till it's light. And so you all, I think everybody knows this is, you know, so easy, such an easy recipe. The flour that we'll be using is our Namaste flour. So this is a different brand of flour. I don't have the bag with me, but I'll have it uh, during class and you can see what the the uh, flour is, the, the brand that we're using this time. Uh, it calls for an egg, a whole egg and an egg white, and I have those here. So we're gonna make sure that these are, this is cream, uh, nice and light. And we're gonna put a dab of uh, raspberry marmalade in the center, to have that ready to go. And I have some regular sugar, but I'll make sure that we have some sanding sugar, really nice, clear, crystal sanding sugar for us. Uh, because this is gluten free, so it's not sugar free. So we can use a little bit of that for our decoration. So we're gonna make sure that this is the uh, cream nice and light. I have it on uh, four right now. I'm gonna turn it up to six. Uh, get a little bit of the lightness, about medium speed. Get a little bit of the lightness in there. Get rid of the And then of course we'll add our, our liquid, add our flour, and we'll pipe. Now, if you do have a number eight, I have an 826, if you have one of these with a star kit, that's what we'll be using to uh, pipe our cookies. So you can bring that into class as well, that would be great. So that looks good. I'm going to start adding just our one. Here goes our egg white. Make sure that gets mixed in. Good, looks good. I'm going to wait until it's incorporated completely and then I'll scrape down the sides, turn it back on, and I'll add our, our whole egg. So we want to make sure that uh, it's creamed by enough. And we'll make sure the butter is room temperature. That's such an important part of making sure when you're doing creaming here. We don't want it melted butter, but we do want it soft. So I'll scrape the sides down. Drop that, give me a little bit more room here. There we go. Okay. All right, let me turn that back on. Okay, this is four. I'm gonna go to six. So just let it cream a little bit longer. It looks really good. Alright, so it's ready for our egg now. Our whole egg. So part of the white just went in, which is fine. I'm gonna let that incorporate though before I throw in our yolk. Alright. So now we'll throw in our egg here, our whole egg. Looks good. All right. So I'm going to add our almonds. Now remember, this is gluten free, so there's no uh, there's no gluten in it, uh, which is the protein which makes the binder. So, but this is a mixture, and it's not calling for. Uh, any xanthum or anything to to make it coagulate because uh, the eggs are really going to be the 
the, the uh, product to make it coagulate. So I'm going to incorporate, now we want to make sure we incorporate absolutely all the flour so that it's uh, nice and smooth, the batter's nice and smooth. We don't want it to be And it's not like the other flour where if you over mix it, it's going to get, uh, your gluten will get tough, your cooking will get tough because there's, there's no gluten. So you want to make sure it's nice, a nice smooth batter for us. Okay, have our batter ready, have my sugar, my garnish over here. All right, so here's our batter. Take this off, scrape this down. I'll show you what it looks like. I'll give it a good one stir to make sure before I put it in the bag, I'll make sure everything, there's no chunks of butter anywhere or uh, sugar and, and butter mixture anywhere. We'll make sure it's nice and smooth so that way it's It doesn't have any pockets anywhere of sugar and fat. Okay, so this is our our mixture here. You can see it's just like a cookie dough. So there you go. So it's nice and smooth. And so now I'm going to fill our bag of our bag ready to go here. Yeah, take it down just a little. Okay. So in the book, in my book, I, I didn't have anything saying I had to do a high altitude change on this because there's no baking powder or uh, leavener in here. So it's the eggs that makes it, uh, is the leavener. So we should be okay with, uh, with the, as far as the high altitude goes. Okay. So I'm gonna do just put a touch underneath my paper just to glue down the paper, and then I'm going to pipe on each side the rosettes so that they bake. Make sure my paper's nice and smooth. Okay, so touch the paper and just do a nice little rosette. One, two, three, four. We'll do one on the other side so the paper doesn't fly up. So these are really nice size cookies, just a nice little tea cookie. For our butter, or make sure we get all of our batter. So I'm gonna grab the uh, bowl scraper right here. I have it right here on the side. I wanna make sure I get all the batter out. in the center of each one. I actually, I, I stick the, the tip into the batter itself and then uh, press and let it fill up and then twist and that way it doesn't uh, go outside the, doesn't spill over onto the side of the cookie. They should, it should be in the center of the cookie. So I'll make sure we have this ready to go as well. And 
then I'm going to put our sugar. There we go. Sprinkle a little bit of, like I said, we'll have sand and sugar, but I'm just going to put this on uh, for now. Just to give it a, a, a nice uh, crust on the cookie. That'll, that'll look good. So we're going to bake these in a uh, 350 degree oven, I believe, and uh, probably about six to seven minutes. It won't take long because we don't want them to get too brown. Okay, here you go. That's what we're making in our class, gluten-free spritz cookie, biscotti senza glutine. I will go bake these and I will show us, uh, I'll show you the finished product. Okay, I'll be right back.